Hello friends, this is Ted and welcome back to the Ted Adebray experiment. And uh, I'm just showing you around the uh, fairgrounds where I live, kind of cool. Uh, it's got a few older buildings here in the background. Like over there is where they actually serve the food and stuff to the people uh, coming in. But if you walk around the back, uh, kind of the side of the fair, you can see all these older buildings. Pretty neat. Here's like an older church here pretty cool let's see if you can uh, I don't know if you can go in or not ah cool got just enough light to see everything pretty cool in here and you can see it's got a good view of the whole town. That's probably why they have it up here on the uh, top. Kind of cool. You can see a few people kind of walking around. It's like the first day. Of course, none of the rides are open or nothing like that. They just uh, think they're having some kind of like uh, pageants and stuff for some of the younger kids today. Kind of a lot of cool buildings. Here's like a stage where some bands perform. You can see the uh, kind of the bleacher section there so people can listen to the band and stuff like that. They have some uh, tractor pulls and stuff way over there. You can see some of the machinery. This is over here beside the church that we were just in. You can kind of see some of the machinery sitting out here in the back. Kind of, uh, I think that's just a jumble mess of machinery out there. I don't know what that is. Bunch of stuff. Some more machinery over here. You can see all these uh, older buildings here. These are actually the buildings I used to use a long time ago. And they still use a lot of these when during the fair they'll just show off stuff, show how stuff worked back then. Uh, some people do pottery and stuff in them. Uh, there's one that's the, uh, like the country store. They still sell like uh, people make food and stuff and bring it and sell it at the country store. There's an old Dr. Pepper sign. This is that country store right here, as you can see on the uh, window there. So that one's actually, uh, people actually work in that one. You can come over here. There's a building over here, kind of cool. I don't know if you can go in these. We'll kind of go up the steps here and check what what's going on. And these are actually locked right now. But I'll take the uh, time to actually go back here. And you can kind of go down there to this big wheel thing. Pretty neat. And like I said, it's pretty cool that these are just actual old buildings that they used to use. And you can see the... Uh, some more of the fairgrounds like where they uh, probably do like uh, horse shows and stuff over there horse riding and stuff pretty neat stuff like I just said I just wanted to kind of show y'all some of this kind of let y'all check it out going back down Here's the uh, McMinnville electorate, so that's kind of cool. You can kind of come in here and see some of these older, uh, like that really big, huge light bulbs right there, and the uh, it's like a typing machine and just a bunch of older stuff. Pretty cool to check out. There's an older computer or something. Bunch of neat stuff on the shelf there. Ooh, I'm sorry. Some uh, advertising there. I guess you got to advertise everywhere. Okay, heating and air, kind of 
There's an older stove, old table, refrigerator. My mother's, uh, I mean my wife's uh, grandmother, she actually has one of these old refrigerators. They store like uh, RCs and stuff in them, so that's kind of neat. Kind of go out here and they're, it's pretty cool. They're all kind of connected to each other. Kind of go down there. You can see it's sitting on pretty much a hill, so we're kind of, here's 1879. And uh, the Fairfield uh, Printing Company, sponsored by the Southern Standard, and established in 19, 1879. Another thing that was established in 1879 was uh, Michigan Wolverine football. So that's when the Michigan Wolverines played their first game in uh, 1879. A quick fun fact there. Probably everybody's not going to like the video because they probably don't like Michigan, but that was just me saying that. So. Uh, I'll uh, bleep that out of the podcast now, <laughs> but uh, pretty cool. And uh, if you can hear in the background, they're actually having some uh, pageants right now. They're showing the little kids, you know, see who's going to win. There's some cool, uh, you can stick your head through there, pretty neat. And here's one that I don't know what's in this one. And as you can tell, you can tell where I live at, pick Tennessee, because I don't know why they would put a uh, Tennessee sign in somewhere else. All these cool buildings. And it got down off the thing there, we can kind of lock. I don't know what this one is over here, we'll kind of go in here and check it out. Most of these buildings, pretty much every one of them is pretty cool. We'll kind of go in here and check this one out. There's a cool old rocking chair. Some more cool rocking chairs. Play some checkers. Ah, and this one's kind of just the homestead here. Ah, that's cool. This is just how they lived back then. Pretty cool. You can see there's a, a lot of neat stuff. Here's a bed in here. Just a lot of cool stuff where they used to live and stuff. Really neat stuff to me. Excuse me. Hope everybody's finding this video kind of interesting. I just thought it was cool to show off what's going on at the at the fair and actually just showing what they used to do a long time ago. And that one that didn't have anything in it, it was a photograph shop, so Fairfield Photographs. We got back up here and we're walking along. I'm kind of showing you building to building. So here's a cool, ah, here's like the telephone exchange here. There's uh, Mickey Mouse. Hoping nobody will take the video down until I showed Mickey Mouse. Disney will be over here suing me. Just a bunch of old phones. And I'm happy with my phone, or my phone is actually getting some good shots. I didn't figure I could actually see good in here. It's a little dark back there, but it's still doing pretty good. There's a, this is pretty cool. See, this is like on uh, Silent Night, uh, Bloody Night, where the lady was clicking in and she was wanting to, <laughs> she was calling the house. and the <laughs> so, uh, so the horror man would really like that. That one older lady that ran the phone, she's kind of calling up the, the the house on the uh, silent night uh, bloody night there's actually an old uh, phone booth kind of cool superman might have used this back in the day another old building and the pottery one is closed now this this lady actually sells these there's a lady that i actually bought these for my wife they're really nice she'll actually show you how she you can sit in there and talk to her and everything just show you how she how she makes them and everything. I might have to do a video on that. It's pretty cool. But she does a good job on that pottery. Look at this. Here's some cool stuff. And this is actually a good smelling area right here. This has got a lot of good soaps and stuff, as you can see right here. The lady selling some soaps. And they smell really, really good. There's a lot of uh, old lard buckets and stuff. Very nice. He just got one. 
And this has got a wonderful smell to it in here. Just a great aroma coming from this shop. I hate to leave that one, but I want to show some more stuff. Hey, buddy. That's kind of a cool looking thing. A little bit loud here. And I had a conversation with that guy. I would have had him talk, but I don't, you know, I don't want to do that on video for people that you know don't really care about talking on video. But that was actually a, a cornmeal grinder, and it actually grinds corn up. It also grinds uh, chicken feed, and that's what he was grinding at first because the corn was a little bit old, and he didn't want kids to, you know, uh, get into it. So he's going to throw some of that to the chicken feed. You know, because it's older corn, but then it also makes corn meal and different things like that. So that's kind of cool to actually see that operated. And here's the blacksmith shop. And my wife's, uh, I guess he'd be my, her uncle used to actually do the uh, blacksmith. And he's a uh, pretty good blacksmith. He'll actually get in here and they would light the fire and show you how, you, how they make different things and stuff. It's pretty cool. So I might have to do a video of that if there's somebody in here. But this is early in the fair. This is like the... The Friday and really things don't get started till probably Monday. There might be a few things Saturday, but we have a like a week fair. It's not a real long one. It's just one week. So uh, kind of cool though. And we're kind of winding down the tour here, as you can see some of the buildings. I still want to get you into the. I don't know what this one is. We'll kind of go in there and check it out. We'll see. Like I said, I don't know all about all these buildings. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It's got some plows in here. You'd probably hook these up to a horse and plow through your garden there. So I guess this is the gardening section here. Kind of planting and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Just seeing all this neat stuff. I just, uh, hoping everybody likes this video. I just kind of wanted to show you these cool buildings and all that. Uh, we'll go over to the... Uh, Fair Hospital. So this might be kind of interesting to see what their uh, hospital kind of looked like back in the day. And there's a sick bed. I guess there's the uh, the <laughs> the pee pot and the poop pot, I guess you could say. I don't want to gross anybody out there. There's kind of a sink. There's the physician's table where I guess the doctor kind of checks you out, I guess, and stuff. There's a old time. Oh, the changeling. Hey, the changeling. You've seen the movie The Changeling, an older scary movie, then that'll pretty cool. Well that looks like my <laughs> that guy looks like an older boss I used to work for. I know it ain't it might be like his uh, son or grandson or something that was an older boss that I used to work with. Look just like him. It'd be uh, my friend Gerald's uh <laughs> grandpa or something. We'll go over here to the first national bank. Do a big step up here. Wonder if they got any live uh, money in here. Kind of the cool. Uh, and there's the teller and stuff. Kind of keep it behind chains there so nobody can get in and steal the money. So pretty cool. Pretty neat stuff. And here's a uh, Highs Incorporated, which is the Undertaker. So this might be a uh, the under. If you know the movie Undertaker and his pals, he might be in here. This one kind of tells a, a story as it's going along, I guess, of the Undertaker and his names, and kind of reading a little bit. Funeral, no parking. 
A uh, day bed after embalming body was placed on day bed before casketing. Pretty wild, pretty wild stuff here. I just found it kind of interesting as we walk along here. And then we go to the uh, the radio station here where they're playing all the hits from Def Leppard. No, I don't know. Whatever they used to play back in the day. Pretty cool. Genesis uh, No Jacket Required record might have been played on that right there. You never know. Old Phil Collins, he gets around. That must be the old tapes that they used to put in to play the songs and stuff. That's pretty cool. If I'm guessing, that's just me guessing at it. You know, here's the next song and they just plug it in and play it what I'm thinking. But uh, I could be wrong. If anybody's worked at one of these or know anybody that has, kind of correct me on that. And we're kind of winding down a little bit. Some more old buildings here. Oh, a Grand Ole Opry. This is cool. Some older, uh, I guess, country music singers and people that's performed at the Autry and, and the uh, Grand Ole Opry. Autry. <laughs> Thinking of Gene Autry at the Grand Ole Opry. So this is kind of cool right here. There's Uncle Dave Macon with a banjo on his knee or under his knee or something. I don't know. The Dixie Dewdrop. There you go. One of my favorites. I hope it's yours. There's Dottie West. Now, a lot of people here are fans of Dottie West. This is kind of like a Dottie West uh, museum, sort of. So that's kind of cool if you've heard of Dottie West. I guess she was an older. I haven't really heard of her. I'd say she was an older either gospel singer or, or uh, country music singer is what I'm thinking. So they've got a lot of cool uh, Dottie West stuff going on here. Look at this. Uh, Chubby Checker and loretta lynn and john anderson and mary uh, that's pretty cool at the dotty west music fest so that's kind of neat so some pretty big stars there you know with dotty west here's a dotty west autograph poster so that's kind of cool and we're kind of winding down the tour here and here's the first national bank as the sun's getting really really uh and here's tight, high top school. So I guess you wear your high tops when you come into here. And this one could be a little too dark for, uh, but I'm hoping we can get a little bit of this. It's just got a little bit of light in here. So that's pretty cool. And here's the where the kid and the school kids sit, I guess, and uh, pretty neat. And then we go over to the last thing that you want to see back in the day was the sheriff's office from the uh, Fairfield branch. This is the place that you didn't want to go, I'd say. Lucky for us, the door's locked, so uh, we can't go in there and get arrested. So uh, that's a good thing. Well, we can kind of peer in here and see what's going on. I don't know where they put the jail cells at. They must have just shot the guys and didn't worry about all oh, the jessels must be in the very back. They just, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they shot and asked the questions where to put them later because most of them didn't live, I guess. And we're pretty much done with the tour. Here's some of the older buildings where they used to store different things. And they've actually got a lot of uh, people actually have their chickens in here and stuff for the chicken shows and stuff, or the, the people come around and check out the chickens and see which one looks the best and stuff and all that. So that's kind of cool. My wife's cousin used to win, a, or, used, or brother used to win a lot of money off that, because you win uh, money for every, uh, like if you get a first place, or they sell chickens and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Here's some of the sheep and stuff like that. Look at that pretty sheep. And we raise sheep, so we got quite a few of these. But we, I don't think he ever, I think he, 
They sometimes put them in the show, but I don't know if they have up here yet or not. I don't know if they're going to do it this year. My wife's brother, he's into all that sheep stuff and all this stuff, so that's why I got some pretty cool... Uh, we actually have about four or five sheep in our backyard where uh, they're the males, and you got to keep them away from the other sheep. Uh, for breeding and stuff like that, you got to keep them separated because you, you, they can't breed with the same sheep over and over again. It'll make the sheep, you know make a lot of them die because of the you can only do a couple of generations so you got to keep them away from each other for a little while and they've actually got the uh got the chicken door open here so we'll kind of go in real quick there's the big chicken the big rooster yeah there we go wouldn't you love to hear that every morning and as you can see, there's a lot of chickens. And sometimes there's uh, ducks and stuff. I don't know, just different things, whatever people brings in. And they don't look like they had those cages over there. They used to have spots where they'd have ducks and things. But I didn't see them over there. Just a lot of cool stuff here. And there's the grandstands where they're having the, uh, having the pageants and stuff. They have a lot of tractors and different things like that, and it's kind of cool. And we're pretty much in the place where everybody's at now. This is usually the play area. They'll put a lot of corn in this thing right here, and the kids will go crazy and have corn all in their underwear and stuff. That's what my boy always does. He's like, oh, I got corn in my underwear. What's well, your fault for jumping in all that? And I have a cool petting zoo, which nothing's here right now. And over there's where they show all the dairy farm, the dairy cows and stuff. Kind of cool. Well, that'll be it for my uh, tour of the fair here. Just showing you some old buildings and stuff. I, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And uh, like I said, I'm uh, hoping you like it. Just showing you some cool stuff. And this has been Ted of the Ted Atterbury Experiment. Just showing you a crazy video of the local fair here that I always attend and kind of help out with. And I thought it would be a cool just to kind of look at all those crazy looking buildings that were, you know, built a long time ago and people used and stuff. So uh, I guess that'll be it for my video. Until my next video, have a good one. See ya.